been a while since I've done a YouTube review. Um, I just got this Black Friday Filson. Uh, they had them for 30% off. So I thought I'd get one. I've been eyeballing them for a couple of years. This is still a current product. Uh, it is the uh, Filson Lined Denim Short Cruiser. It's a short cruiser. If you're familiar with Filson, you're probably familiar with the short cruiser. And this is uh, lined with the Alaskan Guide Flannel. The Alaskan Guide Flannel does go all the way through the sleeves, which is great. And uh, all the typical features of a regular short cruiser. It's um, no different. The fit is, as far as I can tell, exactly the same. I don't currently have any Filson short cruisers, but I've had them in the past. And this is effectively the, the exact same thing, only it's made out of 14 ounce denim and is lined with that uh, aforementioned red guide flannel. I am six foot two and a half. I am 255 pounds. I lift weights. I'm naturally broad for my height. Uh, I guess people would say stocky, but I've never heard the term stocky applied to people over six feet. But I'm a very large guy for my height. Uh, most people think I'm two to four inches taller than I really am because of that. But so I'm, I'm hard to fit. A regular extra large size uh, shoreline cruiser is too small for me, way too small. This is an XXL. So keeping in mind my size, this is how an extra, extra large fits me. Right now I'm just wearing two t-shirts, but I was wearing in the house a sweater on top of my two t-shirts and this still fit comfortably over that. It was a little bit tight in the shoulders here, but like I don't get any real tightness until about right here. So I can articulate well and I can uh, button it up and I have, I still have room for layering. So you can do a decent amount of layering. I don't think it looks too boxy or overly sized on me either. I know with a denim jacket like this, you know, the whole style aspect, you don't want them to be too boxy to you know, just for style. I, I'm not a style guy. So the idea that I even bought a denim jacket to begin with is kind of weird. My wife was perplexed, but she agreed that it looked good on me. So I'm keeping it. But uh, yeah, and then the, the pockets here are also lined with the Alaskan Guide flannel, but only on the front. They're not lined in the back. So you have denim on the back and then the nice soft cotton on the front, but that's what it looks like buttoned up. You can see from the side and the back. And uh, typical flat pocket here, nothing special. There's no lining in there or anything. Um, a lot of double layering, on, just like on a typical Filson garment, you know, there's two layers of denim here, uh, two layers of denim on the outside, or at least the top edge of the pocket, then it's single layer down here. Then you have your regular old tool pocket here. And then um, the collar is two layers of denim. And this is 14 ounce Cone Mills denim. This jacket is sewn in the United States and the denim, I believe, is sourced from the United States. If you look on their website, it'll say uh, made in the USA out of foreign materials. Uh, that's not what the tag on the jacket says, so I'm not really sure why it says that on the website. Most of their tin cloth products and, and other cotton products, they get cotton from Britain. So even if they're made in the United States, it'll say made with imported materials. That's always how it's been since Filson started as a company. They've got their cotton canvas from British Millerain. So this is, as far as I know, 100% U.S. I mean, maybe the guide flannel's coming from uh, somewhere else. And if the guide flannel's coming from somewhere else, that's where that imported materials would probably be. But the denim, cone mills, the jacket made in the United States, uh, I think it's pretty sharp. I'm not generally a denim kind of guy, but, you know, I wear jeans infrequently. But, uh, yeah, I think it looks great. And you get two buttons on the cuff. And uh, button closure, that's it. Beautiful lining. It's a nice deep blue indigo. Uh, very nice jacket. I have nothing but good things to say about it. And um, there's not a lot of information out there on the YouTube about this. Uh, so, you know, but once again, just, just to be extra thorough, I'm six foot two and a half. I am 255 pounds. 
I am very broad for my height. Uh, stocky would be the term. And uh, I, this is an, an extra, extra large. In most Filson jackets, I wear an extra large. So I sized up. If you look on Filson's website, they have two different measurements they offer for most of their garments. They show you the actual measured dimensions of the garment itself, and then they have a recommendation based on your body size. I don't use the body size recommendation. I look at the actual measurements of the garment. I need a 37 inch sleeve or longer, and I need a minimum of 53 inches around the chest. That's, you know, measuring the garment from front to back. So, you know, if you halved it, you just measured from armpit to armpit, that would be half of 53 inches, right? So you can get those measurements different. Filson gives you the full measurement. So if you know the dimensions of a garment that fits you, then you should be able to look at those measurements and make a determination. You know, uh, please don't ask me for sizing advice for your size and height and all that. I, that's not my thing. If you need that, you need to go talk to a retailer. You need to go get measured. You need to measure yourself. I'm just telling you what size jacket fits me and what my requirements are. So if you are also six foot one to six foot four and broad like I am, you can probably bet that an XXL will fit you pretty well. But outside of that, if you're five foot eight, I don't know, man, you're on your own. But that's how the measurement systems work. Um, and this is what the jacket looks like on a big ugly troll like me. That's where we're at. Uh, happy to answer any questions. I don't have any long-term testing. I just got this in the mail, threw it on, came out here, now I'm talking to you. Um, just to get some information out there because you can still buy these. They're not on sale anymore. They're 455, not on sale, but you, you, know, you can probably call the outlet in Egan you know, maybe they've got some. You can try to wait till their next sale. They usually have a spring sale and they usually have a winter sale and they usually have a summer sale. So the winter sale will probably be coming up somewhere between January and February. Sometimes they run it a little bit later. Uh, and uh, if you have a Filson retail store near you, you know, sometimes in stores, they'll have sales on items uh, that they don't list on the internet. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And then I want to show you the sleeve too. So if you can see, you can see I like the sleeves to come down a little bit because especially on a jacket like this, as I come up, you can see that's about right. So if I'm reaching for something, see how those sleeves ride right up there? That's pretty normal. So I tend to like them a little bit, a little bit uh, in a relaxed position. I like them to be a little bit down towards the bottom of my palm. Um, yeah. But great jacket. I mean, the construction quality is amazing. The stitching looks great. It feels very durable. I have Filson jeans. They hold up great. They're made out of uh, the same denim that's in this jacket, and I have zero complaints about that. So, you know, if I think about it in the future, after I've worn this for a few months or maybe even a year, maybe I'll come back and do another, um, do another review. I don't really intend on beating this jacket up. Uh, I have a lot of other jackets I can beat up. In fact, pretty much every other jacket I have, except for my Weatherwall all-around jacket, is used as a beater. So this one and my all-around jacket, I kind of reserve for looking nice. So um, so I try, I, I'm not gonna try to beat it up, but you never know, man. I'm a grub, you know, I'm down in the dirt, busting my knuckles and spinning wrenches and crawling on the ground and all that stupid crap all the time and it doesn't really matter if I'm wearing my one suit or I'm wearing my work clothes it seems like there's always something that requires me to kneel in the mud at the bare minimum to do so <laughs> yeah but I'm going to try to keep it clean so there might not be much to report durability wise because I won't be testing it that way but yeah anyway I hope this was helpful I rambled a little bit uh, Phil Jen on some sizing. Uh, you know, if I get enough of a response, maybe I'll start doing some more videos. I have a few other products that um, people might be interested in. <clears throat> you know, Alaskan Guide shirts and some other jackets that have served me well. But a lot of the fills and stuff I have, I buy used. I don't buy new. So because of that, a lot of it is just not in production. Like I have a shelter cloth packer coat, uh, which is caped through the, it's, it's like the same thing as a double Mackinac cruiser, but made out of a uh, Filson's midweight uh, canvas and it's waxed. 
And uh, so it's caved through the arms and the chest and the upper back. And then it's got the traditional Filson four pocket design. And it's been out of production for God knows how long. I mean, they haven't made those things in a long, long time. And it's my go-to rain jacket, like cold weather rain jacket. And I'd like to do a review on that um, in case, you know, if anybody's interested in seeing that, maybe that I'll, I'll get around to it. But uh, that is a phenomenal work in rain jacket. Uh, anyway, I digress. So anyway, if I do want to get some beater use out of this, if I decide to turn this one into a regular use jacket, then I'm probably going to wax it. And um, wax denim has its own weird qualities. Uh, I don't, I'm going to try not to do that. I just want to keep this as a casual kind of stylish jacket, but you never know, man. You can take the mechanic out of the shop, but anyway, you know how it goes. Thank you for watching.